Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Mind Your Exam. In this video, we will learn how to calculate the correlation coefficient between a pair of variables. So I have two small tables here with variables x and y and variables p and q. So let us see how to calculate the correlation coefficient of both of them. So to calculate this correlation coefficient, you need to add the data analysis tool pack in MS Excel. If you have not already done that, so please watch this video that is shown on the extreme right top corner or you can find the same video in the description box also. Now once you have added the data analysis tool pack, go to the data tab and click on extreme right option which is data analysis. Now click on the option corresponding to correlation and click OK. Now in the input range, you need to specify the input values for which you have to calculate the coefficient. So the input values in the first case are the X and the Y values along with the labels X and Y. So I select both these columns. Then since the data is present in the form of columns, I select grouped by column and I tick mark the box corresponding to labels in the first row because x and y have also been selected even if they are not numeric values. Then since I want the output in the same sheet, I will click on the tab across the output range and select the cell where I want the output and click on OK and the output will be generated. Now this table basically shows that the correlation between x and x is 1 that means if I find the correlation between X and itself, they will be highly positively correlated. And similarly, the correlation between Y and Y will be highly positive correlation. But the correlation between X and Y is slightly weaker as compared to the correlation between X and X or Y and Y. And the value of correlation coefficient for uh, x and y is 0 0.96. Now let us calculate the correlation coefficient for the second table. We have to repeat the same process. Go to the data analysis tool pack, click on correlation, then select the input range. Now in the input range, I have to select all the data in the P and Q columns. Then I will select the output cell where I require the output and then click on OK. Another table will be generated which shows that in this case the correlation between P and Q is negative correlation. That means if one value is increasing, the other value is decreasing. Okay, And this negative correlation is also high correlation because it is very close to minus 1. Okay. So this was all about calculating the correlation coefficient using data analysis tool pack in Microsoft Excel. Thank you for watching. I hope you have understood this concept. Till we meet in the next video. Mind your exam.